Land. So, welcome back. This is part two. I'm just looking at Ethiel's new ship. Apparently, this is quite effective in the new build. Um, but uh, yeah, continuing with my speed build today. So, uh, going to be uh, continuing this one over here. Um, it's exactly as it was when I left in the last one. So, um, going to just continue freehand building this out. Got a few plans. Want to expand the engine area. Um, needs more power. Uh, Want to do the side corridors. Um, so yeah. Let's get doing it. Put the symmetry in and get on the corridors. So I think that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Is start working these corridors down to a second hangar for my uh, shuttle or visitors. I'm going to have a fighter that docks underneath the ship just in case, you know, it gets attacked. Um, and also turrets. So taking another look at Ethiel's ship there. He said there's a nice interior to see. I did like that bridge. It was pretty cool. But we'll look at that in a proper video soon. Um... So, yeah, just getting on with these corridors, like I say. Um, I had the idea to just sort of make them go over the top of the open area. And in the end, I did have walls with windows on the open area because it didn't really look right. It, looked un it didn't look right, so I had to close it off. So it ended up being an open air courtyard, which is... Or an open space courtyard. <laughs> so, And I decided to use glass and water together or try to, um, on account of the fact that the, the there are no water wedges and I wanted to do a specific shape for the corridors. Kind of like mushroom slices, you know? So, just keeping the theme going. Um, and yeah, it did actually work out okay in the end. It just took a bit of like, a bit of thinking, because I sat there for ages going, what have I done wrong? Why does it not work, look right? And, <laughs> I got it in the end, I think. I obviously I have symmetry on, so the other side's being built while we're doing this. That's quite nice, it saves a bit of time. And yeah, this was like the first thing I did actually. So, um, yeah, so anyway, like I was saying. Um, the staircase over at the back is designed for gravity. It turns out I built it too tall, so I've got to rebuild the whole thing. You can't actually jump from level to level. <laughs> I made it one block too tall. Every level is one block too tall. Um, so that's, you know, I've got to remodel that. But that's no problem. It's a small thing. Um, so putting a wall around this, so it's sort of sectioned off a little bit. And you can see here, yeah, here we go with the, with the mushroom stairs. I wanted to have them flip round each level so that, um, you know, you could jump from one to the other easily. Just go hop, 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 and you go straight up. They weren't originally mushroom shaped, but I'm just, like I say, trying to keep the theme going. <laughs> so there it goes. And I decided to use glass with water, but I haven't put the water in yet. So here we go, trying to finish off the inside. I think I must have had symmetry off when I did it. Anyway, anyway. Ah, take a quick break to look at this lovely ship. Um, not going to tell you who built it or what it's called, but if you know, comment below. Um, I think I, I really like it. It's kind of like the hailstorm, but more mushroomy, you know. <laughs> rounder. I like it. I think the bloke's done a good job on this ship and I'd love to take a closer look at it with him, um, you know, soon. I'm sure I will. I think he asked me to name it, so if you want to put a name down in the comments, go on guys, suggest something for him. So, back to the speed build. Decided to put the floor in. I was going to go with terrain under here, so, um, you know, the terrain, I'm going to use Mars, planet, you know, red dirt, I think I went with in the end. Um, and, yeah, I'm just sort of putting a little bit of armor underneath because I thought my belly's way too exposed. So I'm going to put, like, some random blocks of armor down there. 
Oh, and uh, yeah, the rear loading bay, so people can get in at the back there. It's going to be a bit strange because it'll have two feet at the front and then a great big duck foot at the back. Um, and obviously these will form the feet and the holders of the turrets. So I've decided to use a interesting pattern to fan them out here. But they're designed, they're supposed to be quite prominent. This is going to be like the main feature on the, uh, on the hull. Off it goes. Well, one of the more outstanding ones anyway. Because I wanted it to look a bit more industrial than, uh, you know, almost like it should be a station, but they slapped engines on it. <laughs> like a little repair outpost. I thought if I've managed to do that, then I've done my job right, so. But we'll see, because it's far from finished. Like I say, you get random blocks everywhere because of symmetry. I put when I put these on, I didn't think. I thought they just looked like reflectors, but actually they yeah, they look like headlights. And then the, the bridge looks like a big block. And I've basically made it to look like a truck. So that's not what I wanted to do, but it, I can't deny it. it does look a bit like a truck from the front now. Um, so, but then there's no detail or armor plating on it yet, as far as I'm concerned. So it's subject to change. I was thinking of having a mushroom shaped deflector just because. So here we are messing around with uh, styling options. <laughs> uh, and then remembering that I haven't even done the floor yet. <laughs> so I thought it was a bit dark inside my core room. So I've just gone with a simple pattern of lights and glass wedges lights up the room quite nicely and then I put in a like a you know like a airlock style vault door um, because obviously this part which I'm in now is outside in the outside in the vacuum of space uh, messed around with the lighting here for quite some time I just wasn't happy with it um, but in the end I figured out I ended up with something that looked a bit like a street lamp I guess um, and yeah, just finishing off the door. And then hollowed it out a little bit to give it a bit of character. It's still way too dark though, so I might just, I might completely change the lighting in the, uh, in the hangar. Or in the repair bay. I got myself all confused as well because I was, had symmetry on. Let me put the water in here. There we go. So it's starting to take a little bit of shape, but it's still very dark in engineering. I'm not happy with that. Um, so now we start building my visitor's hangar. And... Um, I, oh wait, oh yeah, 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 that's right. Decided to put uh, some yellow accents in everywhere, pretty much. Well, not everywhere, but everywhere at exterior, on the on the on the ground or a flat surface. Um, and the intention is to put some terrain elements over the top because. That's what I wanted. I wanted this ship to feel like it's been out at space for a long time and, you know, maybe rock has collected. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just sort of putting a little bit of detail on there. Need more airlocks, that's what I decided. Also need to finish off the hangers because they're kind of open hangers. They're not really... They don't have they don't have a roof. Um, and also the visitors hangar on the other side is using something I saw on Reddit where uh, you dock from the underside. So I've actually gone and made quite an interesting piece there where you've got a hole and you uh, with the hole there you can zap it from underneath. So you don't even need to fly into the dock.
So, a little bit more lighting for the corridor. Not sure if I'll keep it, but you know, still experimenting. Um, yep, there we go. A little white. Get some more lighting in there, get some more color in there. And glass wedges, because that's going to be a theme throughout the ship. And then we've got the cross beams, which the little crane arms slide along. I, I put the crane arms on top rather than underneath because of clearance. Um, I hope I get away with that because it's not quite what I was going for, but I think it, I think it'll look all right when it's done. <laughs> okay, so we're nearly done with the crane. Oh no, there's still some more to do yet. Quite a simple pattern though, but it looks good from a distance, so. Oh yeah, having fun with the counterbalances. So I think I did figure it out in the end, but they were way too big. So I had to like trim them down and then put some uh, different color in for detail. It still doesn't look quite right, but I hope I get the effect. People should see, oh yeah, that's a little crane arm that can slide along the runners, but I don't know. So then, instead of filling it all in, just to save on a bit of space, I have left some air, because I don't, I don't want this to be super dense. It was supposed to be a little airy, so it doesn't have quite as much mass as, you know. <laughs> so to go at levelling this out, but obviously <clears throat> I designed it to be not symmetrical, and then of course I'm treating the front like it should be symmetrical, so then <laughs> you get into, I get into all sorts of confusion. So here I am making a little visitor's get a uh, sort of uh, landing pad in front of the uh, exposed repair wall. And I'll put another wall in there, so we kind of have a door there eventually. Fill that in as well. So it all looks nice. And I think we're nearly done here actually. So uh, coming up in the next part. Um, still won't have finished the thing, but um, much more progress will be made on this build. It's uh, going to be finished very soon, I, I would expect. But uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in part three. Um, and you can check out what I've done here. Ah, here's this dock I was talking about, see? Yeah, dock from underneath. Right then, see you soon.